two World Cup stories. The first one, of course, is the idea of Joe Lysett shredding £10,000. There's no evidence that he actually did shred £10,000 to start with because, you know, magicians have been doing this for years. But on the other hand, if he did, he's clearly made significantly more in publicity than he would have made by spending that £10,000. However, there are two issues. Issue number one, I think that £10,000 could have been spent on people who need it, the vulnerable, and he should have found a way to give that away if he didn't need it. Uh, and equally, I, 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 in the back of my mind is a suspicion that shredding money or defacing the notes of the realm is actually a criminal offence. So I would be interested in uh, if, if anybody has any real information on either of those two ideas, but it is a great publicity stunt, and he's captured attention and drawn attention to the old... GBTQ plus issue and Qatar as if we don't already have it and today again the um, the uh, England squad apparently have uh, have decided they're not going to wear the one love armbands because FIFA have threatened them with suspension or being taken off the pitch should people be caught with these one love armbands well this is the point of solidarity and if everybody has one of these things, then presumably the game would stop, in which case uh, FIFA would have to backtrack. So the idea uh, that um, uh, that the England managers have got the uh, future of their players in mind by saying we don't want them to wear these armbands because they will face sanctions, sporting sanctions, if our captains uh, wear armbands on the field of play. Um, we would be prepared to pay the fines, but not to face suspension or to be thrown off the um, the pitch. Well, you know, what about what about this idea of solidarity? That's what um, that's what we proclaim. That's what uh, um, you know. That's the whole principle behind unionisation, isn't it? Solidarity, one voice. And with one voice, all working together, presumably we can silence the, um, uh, the, the, the people who are doing the wrong thing. But clearly not in the World Cup. It's all about gesture politics. Sorry. And taking the money, of course.